Ford's already a done deal, isn't it? Uh, to, to my understanding, yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah. for whatever reason, I saw the Madison County transfers and I saw yeah. that one. Yeah, I don't know why that is. I can't speak to that, frankly. Okay, I, I can, all right. I can tell you that, that this, this last, if this is going with this lot, this is going with this lot, this is going with this lot, and this is the remainder parcel that belongs to the piece across the street. Wait a minute, where, where are the middle ones going? The middle ones go to the adjoiners on the uh, on the north. Okay, uh, every, everyone's named here. Everybody here gets a lot. Okay, and the only person that this is the only freestanding lot is the one in the middle, the lot number three. Okay, that's the remainder lot. The, the five yeah, it's a lot. standalone. Okay, I got it. The rest of them all get combined with other lots. Okay. Okay. What one's the standalone? Lot number three. three. Are you involved with that with that combination? Because we'll, you know, we would like to see we'd like to see those incorporated into one deed, wherever they're combined. Yeah, I, I don't know. I have no issue with that. I, I yeah, that would be easier for stipulation. title purposes in the future if it gets combined with a yeah. prime lot that it's associated sure. with. Yeah, if you make that a stipulation. I don't yeah. think that's a problem. Okay. So we'd only end up really with one freestanding line. That uh, we we've been kind of we haven't been pushing the perks here lately. That probably wouldn't perk, would it? I can't speak to that fact. Right okay. Now. Without right. doing it, I can't tell you. I'm just I'm just kind of going by the area. But I'm certain, you know, on a five acre lot, you know, we always, you know, you know, my opinion is that you know we can always there's always place in a five acre lot for for a, for a, for a septic system. Would they have to come back, Frank? Somebody bought that for a building? Line? No, no. They would. They would. Uh, when they when they applied for a for a building permit, they they'd, they'd have to they'd have to have other things lined up to their side. Yeah. yeah, that would all be that would all be in their purview. What we what we used to do, and we we probably I think we've been lax on it, is that we would require perks on anything that could be residential, so that it would be kind of a open. Anybody looking a lot and see a perk with maybe a little professional help, they would know that it needed a raised bed. It wouldn't be a conventional system. That there would be an expanded expense. That would be a, be, a, be a little more expensive lot. That's all. That that was the thinking years ago. And we certainly can go back to that again. But I think in this case, the combinations, no, they're not for building purposes and at this point, just accept that one, and that will be picked up if it is sold for a building one. That's five acres of it for a single one. Yeah, but you know, kind of given the the general idea of the location, yeah, a good chance to good chance it may not may not perk. Right. Mm -hmm. But like, if there's, there's no flood, there's no. What's the date on here? Uh, 127.21. That's the last revised. Yeah. No. 127.21. Got it. Sir, are, we're, having a, we're having a hearing now for a lots down on Smith Ridge. Are you concerned with that? The state majority. Oh, okay. Okay. All right, let's hold on here for a couple minutes and we can close this. And we'll, uh, I don't, anybody got any questions? Or Rick, we can, we can dispense with this. Yeah, I can, I can answer any as questions. As soon as the meeting starts. Starts. Start. Yeah, like I said, no. This is pretty, stand, it's pretty much standalone what you see yep. that you get here. You know, it's not pretty straightforward. Yeah. Yeah, I think it all it all it all kind of started with a fellow there, uh, Klaus, Klausowski. Yeah, yeah, who had his driveway on the wrong piece of land. That, yeah, that's really what started this. That's that's, that's kind of the guy that initiated the whole yeah the whole deal. Yeah, he had his driveway in the wrong piece. Yeah, was that piece of property was originally from this? Uh, well, yeah, probably, probably at some point along the line. But whether McNeely is this, is this anywhere near the Smith, the old Smith farm? Where is that? Is this pretty close? Not far. It's it's. Um, it's Graham owned that, wasn't it? Yeah. It's, it's uh, Rick McNeely's wife's 
owner's father owned that farm there for years. Okay. Right. That's right. That Graham owned it. Yeah. Yeah. Graham owned that land for yeah. a long Graham? Time. Yeah. yeah, Graham owned that land. Oh, really? Yeah. I think Graham owned that land for it a long time. It was Jimmy Graham. Was he? Jimmy Graham went to school with you, probably. Yeah. He was my cousin. Yeah. 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 No, they lived down on the other end of Black Creek, yeah. right? on Black Creek, but they're all re they were related. Okay. I think yeah. the Grahams owned this for a long time yeah. before this McNeely guy. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then Rick McNeely was his wife. Yep. Yeah, that's right. She's yeah. Okay. All right. So yeah, I think we're good. If we get to regular meeting. We'll we'll uh, we'll take care of that. You good? No. So. We want to think about that. It's something. <coughs> We got folks, uh, Ford, if, um, which I brought up myself there a couple of months ago, but I didn't, I didn't really follow through on. Um, are you getting, are, are you folks getting emails from, from uh, like Onondaga County planning? Did you get one here that was, uh, it was actually today? I got it. Yeah. You got from well, Monica solar, Crops. Solar, uh, no. Yeah. I don't know. Okay. Kind of solar solar. You got it. Well, got it. So they were you, here. You, would, and they did it you didn't get it any way. All right. What a. There. I don't know. I'm kind of planning federation are doing these webinars. And you can access them. And there's actually one this Thursday on solar energy regulation. And they, you can do these things. I'm not sure about all the the paperwork end of it. But if you go to, I'm sure if you don't have any link with you, you can go to just Onondaga County Planning Federation and that would show up on their webpage. Onondaga County Wedding or Planning Federation. Okay. And this is going along with the Department of State, DOS, New York State. If uh, I probably could figure out how to get you to get you this link, I'm gonna send, I'll send it to Rose right now. Okay, and the, and then there's one on the 22nd of April, same time frame, 11 a.m. to 1:15 p.m. for affordable housing. Those are the only two that are out there. It says here, registration information and handouts for the solar energy reg course are posted on the Federation uh, web. And I can send you, I can, or one way or the other, we can get you those links. Okay, so you got, there's one on the 8th on solar energy regulation, 2 hours and 15 minutes. And again, Details, the okay. details of how it operates, I'm not sure. Did you get this? At 11 a.m. Yep. So they give you a link, Frank, to um, how to get the four, to get your credit hours off of these. So there's okay. a link right in the middle of that email that we have. Okay. And they can just click on it, and then I think you print out the certificate, and then you just said bring it to the town, and we'll approve it at a board meeting. Okay. I think I did one in March. Or when I was in Pennsylvania last, one came up. And okay. I did it and I brought, uh, I think I gave Rosemary the certificate. But then I did another one and I couldn't get a certificate. I don't know why I didn't. Okay. But, All okay. right. Well, well, we can figure out the other end if you take the course. You get the course and do, mm -hmm. do what you want. John, do you have a, any interest in any of those? Okay. I got no question. You and, you, and I can get this to you too if you want. You want to? Could you, could you, could, I mean, you, you could access them if you wish. New Year or something like that. Right. I mean, you just take them off. I'll get that for the internet. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. I'll get, we'll get, we'll get that stuff out tomorrow. All right. Mm -hmm. I don't uh, think we're going to uh, have anything else here for. Uh, we have Mr. Word in that. Okay. And uh, we have a motion to close the hearing on, uh, on the McNeely subdivision, please. So moved. Okay. Second. Motion made and seconded. Is there any discussion concerning that? Not hearing any, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay, hearing yeah, is so. closed.
regular meetings of the Town of Sullivan Planning Board for the month of uh, April 2021 will commence. The minutes for the uh, March meeting have been circulated. Are there any uh, any additions or corrections? Yeah. Well, actually, I was here present. I made motion, but we don't have any on the list. What did I say? Oh, I didn't put you in? No, so no one did that. On the first one. All right. Great. I had me wondering if I was here or not. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're not, sure provide, we're, over there. we're not providing alibis for anyone. <laughs> I can't remember where I was. <laughs> you were over there. But I made a motion, though. I wasn't yeah, here. Yeah. Though. You were more than six feet away. <laughs> I thought I was there. Is there something else? We have a motion to approve. I make a motion. No second. Okay. And, uh, any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Minutes are accepted. Uh, we have a, a tentative agenda here in front of us tonight. Uh, we've had our hearing with this, uh, that where uh, Rick Myers has represented Mr. McNeely. And uh, we've had that discussion. We'll deal with that momentarily. And under new business, uh, we have Mr. Murdy. Uh, he's up on Perryville Road. And we Fran Degada uh, down at Fremac Marina. That um, he is, well, and we, we get there. Kimberly Carmen and Derek Sykes. Now, uh, sorry for some of the confusion, but there was a hearing scheduled for that tonight, which we, we pulled because. Uh, no longer is uh, Ms. Carmen interested in a beauty salon, okay? And what we're looking at is something, uh, an application that we have really for Mr. Sykes for uh, uh, his internet car sales, but now he would like to have cars, four or five cars out there, okay? So that, that's what they'll be here for. Uh, Mr. Ben Scotter, or Scooter, I'm not exactly sure of the pronunciation, uh, down on 31, um, we did a subdivision a few months ago. Um, uh, there was road frontage, there was land behind it. Part of it was a uh, environmental uh, uh, wetlands. Yeah, wetlands, uh, wildlife type of thing. And a fellow's bought all that, count 200 and some odd acres. He wants to put a hunting cabin back in there. Okay, so that that's what that one is. And Mark Fool. Uh, full down on uh, down at 31 who we should remember we've done storage buildings he would like to add uh, another storage building so we'd like to yeah. amend that that special use for that. okay uh, special use for Ben Scotter special use for Sykes uh, or Murdy but to God it's just they site yeah. what do you got yes Okay. All right. Let me. Uh, we're gonna. We got. We got things right here. Oh, okay. what, what, we, what? What? Do you, where? Where? What do we got to do? Here? So, and, uh, there we go. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, Rick. We're good. Uh, anybody have any further questions on this subdivision? If you're all good with it at this point, we can just have a motion to approve. We'd appreciate that. Uh, wait a minute. How about uh, how about speaker on that? Last month. You did do it. Yeah. Okay. Done. All right. David okay. Made motion. Yeah. Dave moved. I'll second. Okay, um, Chad seconded. Uh, any discussion concerning that? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? You're good to go. Okay. You got those are signals? Right okay, give it up. We'll see if we can do that before we leave tonight. Okay, watch out for the black flies on the course. I just hope they get on the course. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay, Mr. Murdy. Why don't you come up in one of the front chairs there somewhere? You don't have to be too formal here. Right. 
try to get all the right papers in the right folder for a change. For a change. Okay. Mr. Murdy, why don't you explain to the board here what your application is about, where you are. Uh, let's see. That's you. Yes, that's that's uh, you right there. That's my property on Forty Road. Yeah. This is a awfully old photo. Um, yeah, I don't know how often they update those. Well, it says two thousand eighteen before me. Uh, yes. So all of this stuff is all gone. There's there's nothing here. There's no hedgerow anymore. This is all blacked out back in here now. Yeah. So I was just explaining. So this is all blacked up in here, and my vehicles are actually parked right here. Um, what I'd like to do is I'd like to saw cut uh, a section of the blacktop out of there, and I'd like to put up a storage building, uh, you know, for storing some equipment and making, you know, minor repairs sure. for my own personal use. Okay, this is uh, this is an industrial zone. It is tacked on what would be below on the screen, which would be the old Warlock stone court. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. And probably what the history on this is that the building that exists was a welding shop. Yeah, Woody. Woody, Woody Wisner. Oh, Woody, yeah. Woody Wisner. And this was done a long, long Wait, time ago. Huh? Way in the 60s. Now, it was done a long time ago, but there again, you really couldn't have a welding shop out in an ag zone. And I, and again, this is just presumptive on my part. I, I think that when the town board established the industrial zone for the for the for the quarry, they just picked up that piece of parcel and put it in and made it whole at that point. Because at that time, Wisner owned property to the top of that, which would be to the north, and that was open. And a couple times he had overtures of, of developing. There's a few houses up on the ridge there, if, you, if you're familiar with, with that area. But we're, we're quite comfortable that this piece of property is in the industrial zone. So whatever you do here, you know, the building is probably part of the business, no matter what you, if you ever sold it as such, yeah, yeah somebody, you know, yep. they would use it, they would use it that way, yeah. you know, exactly. yeah. they just, they wouldn't put their old personal car or something in right. it, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, whatever you want it for, yep. that, that, that would be fine. So, here's, here I guess is a question, and I'm, I, I'd like a uh, counselor to weigh in on this, do we, do we do this? To my knowledge, there's, there is no existing special use plan. Even though it's a grandfathered, if we just treat this as a grandfathered piece, there's nothing non-conforming about it. The lot itself? Yeah. It's fine, yeah. The, the lot is existing, it's fine. The the new structure, what's it, what are the dimensions gonna be? It is 30 by 50. Yeah. 30 by, well, you got a height for that building yet? Uh, 18. 30 by 50 with an 18 foot high placement of the building is going to be approximately just to where the south of the of the building. You said you're going to sock cut out a part of the existing driveway. I do have building. kind of a site plan. I, I, yeah, I got this I, thing right here. Right? I have the, I have the. I, I just, I'd like to set the building back 25 feet behind that one. Yeah. Just okay. for. You need fire separation. You need fire separation too. They well, got all the good setback. They have plenty of setbacks on here. Yeah. So then we're going to use existing driveway, right? Yeah. And the use is for your current business, yeah. but there's no, but there's no existing prior approval. I would say that it was grandfathered. It was probably never. It, no. it, it mean it, it pre-existed okay. probably current zoning. Well, then the new, and, yeah, the new, the new building need, does need its own fresh approval, even if the. Or you're just, re, or you're just, you're just kind of. What are you doing? Giving them approval for it by following the procedure that you have, which would be it's either going to be site plan approval or a special use permit, whatever your code would, would require for this. Yeah. It's up to you. I mean, you got to, I mean, you're, you know, what do you think it would Well, I mean, it as, far as, I, as far as I'm concerned, you, you, you don't want any sign, there's no, no, no signage no sign, or anything no, connected right. to this. No. It's just another building. It, it's, it's personally just, owned property, and I just, 
instead of keeping all my stuff in my house, I keep it there. Yeah, it, it's it, it's just going to be part of his business site, yeah. right? Okay. Now let let's be clear here, though. I, you are you a landscaper or a trucker? Uh, we do trucking and light excavating, just uh, driveways. Okay. Uh, nothing okay. huge, nothing big. Okay, so the trucks and everything support the business there. I mean, you're not, yeah. you know, huh? Yes. Okay. All right. Well, when I'm thinking landscaping, I'm thinking. You don't need a lot of ten wheelers for no, no, no. I don't not do not, not, I don't not, not if you're mowing lawns and not no. Huh? Okay, all right. No. So it's it's it, the only thing you the only thing I could say, John, that it, it's different than the welding shop. Mm -hmm. And the welding shop was that's all it was. Yeah. But I I I'd be comfortable with site plan approval here. Yeah. Well, subject to you know. And then no here. Oh, right. That hearing's up to you guys. Yeah, that's up to you. Now we're not near a county road or anything, are we? Yeah, you are. Okay, well, that's got to go to county, county planning. There's no for any act. state law. Yeah, any site, site plan or special use permit. Well, you have to wait. You have to wait more. How far from the road is that? Yeah, that, I mean, uh, that's a lot. Oh, yeah, they I can't change that for me. What's David? You'll, they, you'll be tied up in more. We have to proceed okay. on. That's All not right. that's not well, this board. That's New York State says that. Right. Well, Boards, let's weigh in here. Which way we're going? If are you okay with just doing a site plan review? Review. Yes. This is basically a grandfathered, a grandfathered piece. Yeah, it's got a little different use than what it was, but he's not really requiring much of anything other than he just wants to locate the building, and we're just saying that this building is not. Basically, when we get done, this building is not obstructing any other people's use or anything else or view view shed. It's at a lesser intensity than what's already approved. Pardon? I mean, you had a welding shop that's approved there. If this is well, just a there was no approved. Right, but I'm just saying is that there's the use that's going in there now will be less intense of a land use than what was that is previously there on the site. Huh? Well, I, I don't I don't either, but in the same token, it's no worse. No. To your uh, question, from the white line closest is a uh, hundred feet from okay. to the front face of the yeah, building. Yeah, that's right by the corner. It's just the road. The road, okay. the road to the quarry is right here. Right there. Yeah. Right yeah. Right. 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 Access road for his property is is off, off the further. street. He he comes right, right off. He comes right off Perry Road. Oh. He comes right off Perry Road. Road. Okay. Well, off Corey Road. Corey, Corey Road, that's Corey. Corey. Yeah, Corey. Okay. And then right directly across the street is Kinsella and Corey. Yeah. So this is your driveway right here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. Okay. We can, and, do, we can do secret tonight too, get that done. So okay. Next, well, next month is just an approval. So are we okay? We're going to go through site plan review? No, no hearing? Right. No hearing? You're good with that. Yeah. Okay. So let's, uh, that's, all right. Uh, Here's some questions from the, the building department. Yeah, and so that you know. Uh, okay. Do you have any bathrooms up there at all? No, there's no water there either. Okay. All right. Are the floor drains being. No floor drains or anything? There are no floor drains. Okay. The building. Uh, is this going to be community building? I, I don't believe so. Not at the no. Uh, just a cold storage one. Basically, cold storage. You're gonna heat it even the whole hose. Yeah, no, we're not heating it. We just want something to be able to put stuff in. Get a roof over. Yeah, it's nice that if you want to know he's in there, so you can do something to pour in rain. You know. Sure. Oh yeah. Right now, that building there is. It's too small for any of my trucks, so everything gets done outside. Uh, the, you don't you, you don't have enough eaves. You don't have enough. No, it's not high enough. Not, no, no, I don't. David, is there is there a bathroom within five hundred feet of that? Oh, I have a portage on there. Oh, you do. Okay. Okay, so what I'd say we, we leave this is that we just we 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 agree that we're going to do the procedure of the site plan review. This has got to go to county because we're taking some kind of an action, I guess. 
Oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. You, put a brand, you put a brand new industrial building on a site, so you got to do it. Okay, right. Otherwise, he's not. He shouldn't even come here. Well, you know. Yeah. Okay. If it's site plan, it's site plan. Site plan's an action. Site plan triggers. Well, site, I, site plan triggers county referral. That's just the right. way it works. Okay. Yeah. I got you. But it sounds like everybody's good to go with it. Yeah. Right. That next next meeting, right? Yeah. So I'm gonna I can run through these questions and then you guys are gonna come okay. up with a negative. What we're gonna do is do the secret. We're doing the secret review. Environmental Fire. Okay. All right. This, this is what you do. Yep. Yeah. Will the proposed action create a material conflict when adopted land use plan or zoning regulation? He's in an industrial zone, so I'd say no, right? No. Okay. Will the proposed action result in a change in use or intensity of the use of land? These small ones, because he's just adding one building, like you said, they had an existing use there. Will the proposed action impair the character or quality of existing community? Again, zoned industrial, you're expecting these types of uses out there. There's no critical environmental area. Will the proposed action result in ad adverse change to levels of traffic or infrastructure, mass transit, biking, or walkways? No. Unlikely there. Proposed action uh, will cause an increase in the use of energy and it fails to incorporate reasonably available energy conservation or renewable energy opportunities? No. Will the proposed action impact existing public or private water? No. Public or private wastewater treatment facilities? No. Will the proposed action impair the character, quality of an important historic, archaeological, architectural, aesthetic resource? No, no, and no. Will the proposed action result in an adverse change to any natural resources? No. Will the proposed action result in an increase in potential erosion, flooding, drainage problems? No. Will it's going to drain, that's going to drain to the west, isn't it? Uh, that that that, your, that whole lot won't drain to the road. You're you're no, going no, down. You're going down the road. Yeah, it will drain towards the water. Is huh? it, yeah. This gonna run for the new gutters, or just have it come off the eaves? Uh, it just comes off the eaves. It's a prefab steel building. That's. I mean, he's so far away from everybody else. Right, but it's mean it's gonna drain away. To, it's gonna yeah. drain away from the road. That's yeah, it's not going down. down the road. Your That's water's not going that way. <clears throat> And will the action create a hazard to environmental resources and human health? The answer is no. So we said no to each of these questions. So on the issue of any environmental impact to this use, your, whoever wants to make a motion for a negative declaration you should do that. I'll make a motion. Up the door here. Outside action. As a legal. Yeah. We're good. Do you want it? Do you want it? Do you want to prove this now? Or do you I, want this to is wait? just a secret. So That's you gotta, right. Yeah, do it. Do it tonight, and then it'll be done. Okay. And we can go right into approval mode next next month. Got it, Dave. Dave, Paul. All right. All all in favor. No. All right. Oh, good. So it be a public or this? No, no public. No public. No. Here. Next month he comes back though for. Pardon. You just got to. You got to come back. Come back. We're gonna have to come back. Any planning is gonna get this because they have to, and they're gonna send a nice letter back saying we don't care about this. You come back next month and these guys will give you the A-OK. -okay. okay. So just come back. Uh, the, you know, he doesn't even have to come if he doesn't but, want this. Not a public hearing. But he certainly he certainly can come. Well, I, I'd, rather, I'd rather have somebody here. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Rose, so, what's our meeting? May. The 4th. May 4th. There you go. Yes. Yeah. Well, well, I've had the, the building been there since February. And then, yeah, it isn't going to kill me one more month. I just want it done before winter oh, next year. <laughs> so when's the meeting? May 4th. May 4th. Seven o'clock. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Okay, you. good. You're all set with me? Yep. I think so. Have a good okay. night. Have a good night. We have Mr. Ben Scoder for the uh, Ben Scoder. Oh, okay. Ben Scoder. Uh, it's Ben Scoder. Scoder. So that's, that's one word. First name, <laughs> first name is John. Didn't want to uh, didn't want to offend you by mispronouncing it. Okay, why don't you tell the board uh, and what your where you are and uh, Phil's going to get your site up here on the screen. Maybe. And uh, and what what you'd like to do? Right. Okay. Um, I bought two hundred and forty two acres from Larissa Boyce. She just had it subdivided uh, last November. Uh, I own 
parcel number five, which would be closest to Eric Coaster, my, my driveway is. Um, I guess I got three, four acres there I can play with. I'm not sure on the exact size before it gets into the wetlands easement. All I'm looking to do is put a 16 by 16, basically a small hunt cabin. Mm -hmm. um, so I can come up and have a warm place dry to stay during hunt season, duck season, uh, snowmobiling. Um, that's basically it. It's going to be simple. You won't be able to see it from the road. I'm going to put it, set it as far back as I possibly can. Um, I don't have much luck for this, Frank. Beg your pardon? Okay. Mr. Benstead, how many acres is it? Uh, 242 total. Yes, we'd like to go first. Okay. He, he, this would not normally, this is uh, under the under the newer law that he can have a, a an accessory structure without a primary, without a, without a residence. In this place, case, there's an obvious connection to the land. It's a hunting cabin. You bought the land for hunting. You want the snow bill. Well, you've got lots of land there. And well, the, the, the trail's snowmobile, right through there. The snowmobile club runs through it. Uh, enters the back, comes out the front, crosses 31 there by the Thomas Dogger Creek there. Yeah. That's, right. That's right. right. Yeah. 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 And then it goes across the bridge, and then from there, I don't know where it goes. Um, yeah, it, a lot of people have gone that way, and we've never seen them since. <laughs> you know, yeah. Uh, but it, it, you have a fit. You you fit this law. That okay. that's why you can do. That's why you're here, and that's why you can do it, or at least ask what you're doing. Right. Um, I've got a note here. I just want to run through it. I don't know whether you had this discussion with the uh, the code enforcement fellows. But uh, it says here that you'll have no permanent foundation. Um, well, I'm, I'm not sure on what, what I can and can't do. Because he said if I got like one of these Amish sheds that are delivered, I could just set it on a rock path. I got you. All right. I would like to actually, because the area is fairly wet. Yeah. Um, it was a soybean field where I'm building, where I'm allowed to build. I would like to put it up on pillars. So there's air underneath, and I'm not rotting everything out. Um, Makes sense. I don't. It's 16 by 16. I figure if I do every foot, um, however you guys down ever, you know, below frost, you know, whatever foot. Um, I you know, I guess that's going to be up to you and the code the, right. the code guys. I don't know as we. Uh, do we have any? Do you have any feeling here? And that that sounds season, to me like a so cold issue. Are you having any kind of like water or? Um, I would have a well, but that will be outside the cabin. There will be no water, running water inside the cabin. What um, about the sewer set? So I plan on doing no, a similar no setup as uh, like a uh, porta pot. Basically, I'll put in an outhouse um, with a holding container mm -hmm. that you can pump out every how. I'm really only going to use it a couple of weeks a year. Right. So well, I, mean, I should every two, three years, you know, pump it out just to have it pumped out. It's, it he's he's going to be he's going to really rough it. He's, he's got no indoor plumbing. No. He's uh, going to have his water. He's going to have no power. Nope. No um, power. So, uh, and again, well outside. Uh, it does say does, one thing here. It says got a fire extinguisher. I don't oh, see that. <laughs> but yeah, I I'd say that that's that's uh that's in the codes, people. Yeah, that's not. Um. Now you can do this. This would be a special use permit, and the board has the prerogative here of having a hearing or waiving a hearing. Um, I would I, I can let you. Walk. This going to be private. This going to be like a hunting club or anything like that. No, no, just just, you, just, just me and I got I got uh, twin daughters, um, and then buddies. And 
people that want to hunt, but it's not like I'm I'm not bringing in people to pay to hunt or anything like that. No club, and that you know, you know, there's no no money involved. Or, there's, you know. there's no other structures anywhere near. No. And how far back off the road is that? Approximately. Um, I'm a good 100 yards before, like my driveway is, uh, let's say, 50 feet wide yeah. by 100 lo yards long before I even get to the field where I want to build. You're set way back. Yeah, I'm set back quite a bit. Um, it's actually in that photo right there. I can point it out if you'd like. Go ahead. That may be quicker than anything digital we're going to get. I don't. <laughs> so all these ponds and that right here in this area, this is all me. Um, this is coaster's land. And if you see right here, it comes in. This field right here is where I'd like to build. So if you can recall I'm that subdivision, back. the subdivision that we did, mm -hmm. on the extreme west, there was an access. Yeah. Oh, and the I extreme the west, and that's what he's running here, down. That's how he's going to get to that 200 and some odd acres because of, of the environmental easement. Mm -hmm. That had to be left that way. It was on the left side. That's correct. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now I know I'm getting it. Yeah. Okay. Over here. Yeah. And you're going to be back in here somewhere. Well, no, I, I'm actually going to be in here. Okay. Right here is the wetland easement. And this is all that she subdivided. But I'm going to be back here. And that's uh, 230 feet. Right there, and I want to put it back here, so I'm quite a ways back. Did you buy that land or you lease it? No, I bought it, man. Here, yeah, that's what it's been. This is the old farmhouse that's here. Uh, this is this is Larissa's house here. Um, and then I think this might have this piece here might have been the old farmhouse. I know there was a silo there, she said, that they tore down. I can't read this, but yeah, it's so small. The heaps, like it's a heap six or seven hundred feet yeah. 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 yeah, before you even yeah. get to it. You're not going to see that. that. No. The power lines are way back here, so you don't need anywhere near the power line. Yeah. Way back into here. So yeah. back to wherever, wherever he can stay out of the water. Make sure you get the power line. Yeah. He's got yeah. to yeah. stay. He's got to prove to where he's out of the water. Yeah. Are you okay with that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, what we can do is just, it's up to you tonight. Uh, the other thing I'd just like to uh, like to throw a statement in there that. It, it really, you're going to be there during hunting season. Now, we're pro are we talking big game, little game? Um, are you hunt them all? I hunt them all, basically. Okay. Right. Hunt trap. Um, it's going to be a recreational kind of like hey, I don't want to get away from. But where I'm going with this is where I'm going with it is what we don't want this to become is somebody hanging out there living there. No, I'm not going to you know, live And you've got to have some kind of a definition well, of what kind of what you kind of say this is for. All right, for well, hunting and snowmobiling. I mean, snowmobiling is going to pretty much overlap your yeah. your hunting. I mean, if you go, squirrels don't get down to what, February, March? Oh, I, don't, I don't know about yeah, that. Yeah, but I mean, if you're talking hunting season. I, I do know I'm a correctional officer for the state of Pennsylvania. My pension behooves me to stay in Pennsylvania. Uh, if I come to New York State, New York State is not pension friendly for me. I also have a place in Black Lake, so I shall be bouncing between three places. Um, I'm going to try to spend as much time here as I can, but as far as living here, I will not be living here. Um, it's okay. going to be hit and miss. You know, I feel like coming up uh, today, I walked, walked around for a couple hours while I was waiting for this meeting. I just like being here, but if it comes to a point where I am actually wanting to spend more time and live here, then I'm going to update, I'm going to have the electric, and then I'll come back and see you all, okay. um, the septic. And we could, I did say, whoever makes a motion, if they wish, could just incorporate it in there that, you know, it is, it is for part-time, part-time use, and for the recreational purposes, mm -hmm. basically encompassing hunting, hunting and uh, snowmobiling. We can't narrow it down any farther than that, that's all. 
That's up to you guys. But then we can do that. We can wait the hearing, wait the hearing, do the seeker, do the seeker on it, and uh, and call it a day. There's, a, there's some other things in here, rules that you'll have to capture in the resolution that are in the code. For this. Okay. They, we, we carved this thing out. Remember when we did this? We carved yeah. it out special for stuff like this. Mm -hmm. and, you, and you guys are making a finding that there's an actual nexus between mm -hmm. this, what would normally be an accessory building, and the outdoors itself. Yeah, you know? So it's got a connection to the land, which in this case is hunting and mm -hmm. some of those recreational uses. So. Um, uh, some of the requirements are that uh, you're going to find that this use is not going to interfere or conflict with the peaceful enjoyment of the neighboring residential uses. So, Rose, I'm quoting from um, section 275-9, uppercase D, sec subsection 12. That's where I'm getting all these from. Okay. So, so have that. Right. Do you, are you, do you have one? Yes, I do. Okay, so. So I'll put that on. Yeah, it, it meets the requirement. It's over five acre lot, so you got that. Um, it meets all the setbacks as set by the planning board. It's recognized as a very large lot. 200 and what is it? 42. 242 acres, that's good. Um, uh, the board has reviewed the access points. So you're fine with that. Um, let's see. No detrimental impact to neighboring property or neighborhood character. We talked about the tangible nexus to the land itself. That's good. Uh, I think there's like no outside storage. Is yeah, no, that's that's the biggest one. Yeah, so there won't, won't, you won't be able to have any outside storage per se. So you can't you, you can't leave a, the things outdoors. Well, if you had a snowmobile, that's different. Yeah, but, yeah, that, that, but I mean like garbage can. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah you know, just a bunch of you, know, you can't leave all or the. Or half a half no. a snow half no. a snow yeah. Yeah. <laughs> half a snow yeah. Yeah. unlicensed cars and stuff. So the idea is not to not to make it become an attractive nuisance for you know the area and have the coach people chase you down. Right. Let's see. I think that might have been it. Let me just no outdoor storage. We I I can yeah. go back and rephrase that or I can look at the I can park a, a boat so I can fish on item. Can I? Like if I have a, a small boat. And that'll be yeah. underneath the lean to there. We'll, so we'll I mean, it's that, not like why don't we, why don't we, why don't we put that in? The, why don't we put that in the motion? That don't get you covered. Okay. I mean, there's nothing going to be old and abandoned. I get. I understand what you all are saying as far as cars and that. But I, you know, if I have a boat and I'd store it underneath the lean to, so then I can something that's currently in use. Well, technically, if you got a roof over it, it's you got okay. covered. Right now, I'll leave it there if you want for somebody else to be taking it. <laughs> yeah. Yep. yeah. It's going to be down the lake and fish through the ice. Mm -hmm. Well, hopefully, uh, as soon as I can retire and have more time for that. <laughs> okay, I think that I think that's everything. We still have to do seeker too, though. That's okay. Let's do let's 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 do the seeker. Okay, so we're going to look at what the environment potential environmental impact would be from this um, standalone accessory uh, building. Uh, one, the proposed action will not create a material conflict with adopted land use plan or zoning regulation. Of course, we've determined that this is something that could be allowed. Two, the proposed action result in a change in the use or intensity of use of the land. It will be a change, but it probably won't be significant, so we can say small. Three, will the proposed action impair the character or quality of the existing community? So that would be unlikely given the size of the lot and the size of the structure and the limited use. Four is critical environmental area, which we don't have. Five, will the proposed action result in an adverse change, uh, adverse change existing level of traffic, uh, mass transit, biking, or walkways? No. Six, will the proposed action cause an increase in the use of energy fails to incorporate reasonably available energy conservation renewable energy opportunities? No. Seven, any impacts to public or private water? No. Public or private wastewater? No. Eight, will the proposed action impair the character, quality, important historic, archaeological, architectural, aesthetic resource? No. Nine, proposed action result in average change in natural resources? No. Ten, proposed action result in increased potential for erosion, flooding, or drainage? No. Eleven, proposed action create a hazard for environmental resources or human health? No. We've answered no or small impact with all of these. So if you're going to do a motion tonight to grant a special use permit, waiving a hearing, right, and then adopting a negative declaration and I, you know, we would capture Rose in our minutes. We would capture those things that we talked about in this subsection here. 
and uh, particularly no outdoor storage and um, the seasonal recreational use that you're capturing. You can have a lean to uh, to um, to uh, protect a, a, a boat, right? Is that one? Yeah. Is there indoor snowmobile. Yeah. Or, or, or storage snowmobile so under that one too. That's all I had. I didn't have no, no, that no, that sounds good. And also, I just noted here that, that Larry included some things that, you, that an argument that would be that you can have to your peers is no. that that that's in the definition of a cabin in the Adirondack Park. So it's for personal use. Yeah, you could have peers. You can have a gas. You can have personal gas. Personal. Right. Okay. Did somebody make that motion? If uh, we need to craft that, I can craft that later. I will make that motion. Second. 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 John. Second. Sherry. And then John. Is there any discussion concerning any of that? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed. In business, you get a uh, you get a notice of uh, of action okay. that you can keep on file. Do I come back May May fourth? You're done. You're yeah. done. You're good. You can come back if you like us. <laughs> well, yeah, you, you, you really don't have to. This is like a three and a half hour hike. So <laughs> I, don't, I don't have to. Where where whereabouts are you, Pastor? Uh, Montorsville. Um, right next to uh, Williamsport. Okay, Lake gotcha. Lake. All right. Yeah. Okay. Montorsville was uh, flight eight hundred. Okay. If that's good, then I just wait for you guys, and then I get a letter in the mail. We'll get. Yep. We'll get you a note. Was notice of action. Okay. Now, whatever you deal with with Larry, that that's separate. He's the code man. Okay. So in other words, you get a you pull a building permit for your for your for your cabin or whatever he's asking you to do. Okay. That's, okay. Good deal. Thank yeah. you much. Okay. Thank you. But you're good. Yeah. Okay. Okay, folks. You are uh, tonight. You're free, Mac, huh? Yeah. Okay. Time. All right. So we've got. I think we got you up there, right? Yes. Okay. Why don't you? Uh, why don't you tell the board in general what's going on, or what you're, or what you're asking, you're asking to do, and then I'll get into procedure here a little bit. In general, we're just asking to put two more of these storage buildings right here along here to get rid of some of these shrink wrap boats so that's basically about it just put two more storage buildings along this line here right along this back end of this right next to you okay all right now there's just kind of give you a little bit of the backstory here is and john listening in he can uh, he can weigh in on this but in two, roughly in 2002 or so, when Harbor, Harbor Lights was done, the Oot project, that was, that was like the old Kennett's, the old Kennett's property, if that any means people. And the town did that through a PDD. And at that point, the play board didn't have much involvement in any of that. But... That was granted, but when they did it, in the end, they ended up with three more parcels in the PDD. One of them, if you're looking at what you're seeing right there, that's the Freemac Marina sales and stuff right on Route 31. There is a open space to the west that goes over and almost basically borders Harbor Lights. And that's an open lot of which now Fremac does have control. They recently bought that, okay. but at that time, and but that's undeveloped. That's rough. 
And then, then if you, that parcel right there and to the east of it, be this. Yeah, that's that one. And then to the east of it, some of you may remember it been around when we did a residential subdivision right. in there, but it never, that never got off the ground. Right. Okay. That also is included. So they're all in the PDD, but the problem is that the PDD does not specify what these parcels can do. This one has always been what it is. Okay, it is the boat sales, etc. So tonight, what we're doing, so he can they can put their buildings in there, is we're just doing a site plan review, which would refer back to the PDD law that says in subsequent amendments to that, that the town board says we have the authority to amend that site plan. So such as it is, we're amending the little site plan of that particular that particular property. And that cuts a lot of the, the baloney away at this point so that Fremac can move ahead. Okay? That's what we're doing. So I have a site plan, which I'd be glad to pass around here. I only have this one little pocket. I think I can find another one. But if you look at, so when you get this thing, what you're looking for is where this gentleman just showed us, just showed us where they wanted those, where they wanted those buildings. They're drawn in, they're drawn, they're drawn in right there. That's even better. Yeah. So I have one like that. Uh, 65 by 125. Mm -hmm. Any height on that Any idea how high those would be to feet? Roughly? I would imagine around 20 feet. You check with to the top. Because usually the doors are 14 feet. So I'd imagine the ceilings are anywhere between 20 and 20. About about twenty plus or minus feet to the top. Correct. What? 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 What's your width? What's the width of the building? Sixty-five by one twenty-five. Yeah. Okay, thirty-two. Thirty-two is a four-one. It's a four-one pitch. That's eight feet. Twenty-two. It'd be probably twenty-two at the feet. Yeah, right around. Right. Right. At a four-one pitch. Right. You did a five one. Like a twenty two frames. About and a four one pitch is twenty two. Yeah, we'll go. We'll say twenty two plus or minus it all because that'll make sure they get in there. Yeah. That cover. Okay. But that's not the rest of them. Yeah. Pretty much. Okay. Because you got this one, you got the two vacant ones there, and the other. So there's got to be four lots. In that PDD. Yeah, this yeah, one, there this is. One's right. There is. So, yeah, because the one with the road that goes to the marina and, and the fence. Okay, okay. Yeah. Well, that's actually another one. That's actually five lots because I think, and again, I'm not sure how that occurred, but I think that uh, Fran said that they bought that mm -hmm. when that whole thing was going on. They somehow, whether that came right, off, I mean, that, whether that came yeah. off Kenneth or whether that came off that open lot. There, I, I, I don't know. Well, that's it. That vacant lot is like the one that would connect everything, and if they just. I mean, historically, if you go back, right? If you go back, it was all free men. Oh yeah. You're yeah, right. It was all family. It was all family. We had the airstrip. Yeah, the airstrip. Yeah. Yeah. The baseball field and all that. Yeah, the baseball field to the west. Yeah. All goes to the road, and that's what we just acquired. Right. That's where they were thinking of putting in that AOA. Yeah. 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 Well, I see this off there. No, I'm just curious because I know that there's a road that goes back there. I looked at that. 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 I
Yeah, because it was weird because we had the road and then some <laughs> off the road towards our property. And never the... And the split down the middle. Yeah. Now yeah. if I could get Chick-fil-A to come out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're right. You're right. Too bad we don't have a map. We have another one of those. Let me, can I call Fran real quick if I can leave that here? I don't know. We'd like, we'd like that. I thought he said he sent it to me, but I'll. What I have is a, is a very small version of that. Okay. And I'd like that. That's what I've got. Okay? I'd like that. No, I don't. We're right here. Okay, so for as far as this is concerned now, you can, as a site plan review, you're basically looking at this and seeing that this is not, it's in, it's in conformity with what is basically there, okay? There's nothing obtuse about it, it's not causing any any causing any other kind of problem with as far as visibility with roads and everything else. We can do, I presume we, do we do a speaker here on this? Yeah. Okay. Easy. Yeah, there you go. All right. Are you ready? Huh? You ready? Yeah. Okay, so for purposes of adding these two 65 to 125 uh, buildings into an existing PDD, so it's an amendment of the PDD that you're permitted to do under the revision we did in 2019, giving this board authority to, to grant this is essentially uh, an additional permit to modify it. <laughs> Uh, will, the, will that proposal uh, create a material conflict with adopted land use plan or zoning regulation? No. Will the proposed action result in a change or, uh, in the use or intensity of use of land? Be small. Proposed action impaired the character of quality of existing community? No. No. Critical environmental areas? None. Uh, <coughs> proposed action result in average change to existing level of traffic or mass transit, biking, or walkways? No. Uh, will it cause an increase in the use of energy fails to incorporate reasonably available energy conservation renewable energy opportunities? No. Will the proposed action impair the existing public or private water supplies? No. Public or private wastewater facilities? No. Will the proposed action uh, impair the character or quality of important historic, archaeological, architectural, or aesthetic resource? Will the proposed action result in adverse change to natural resource? No. Will the proposed action result in an increase in the potential for erosion, flooding, or drainage problems? No. Will the proposed action create a hazard to environmental resources or human health? No. No. Answer no to all of these. Um, you're, when, you, when it's time for a, a motion, you will adopt a negative declaration whatever motion that you guys are doing. So are we doing a site plan, of, plan approval? So what about any kind of utilities inside there, whether it's going to be water or sewer? The coal built, this coal building shelves, or just shelves? What about exterior lighting or things of that nature that are not been? It's far enough back we wouldn't put lights. None, none of our storage buildings just have Just the main, lighting. we only have lights right here, so right. there would be no reason for us well, to Well, I mean, there is a light on that one building that's close to 31. Yeah, just does, in the main part of the lot. The main like, showroom has lights, right the shop has lights. Yeah. And that's it. And it's, and that's it. Well, it spills down the highway as you're coming down the road, that, that catches your eye. Yeah. It's going to be right. this one. Well, this one has lights, too. Yeah. So that one has plumbing and lights, this has plumbing and lights. But they're cold storage. Cold storage. Right. Yeah. Right. So we'll say no sewer, water, or lighting associated with the new building. No. Right, nothing. I got it all, Frank. Was there was there a drawing that we're referring to, or like any kind of a good. date on it? Or maybe you I could you could initial it. Or that one. Frank, um, a date and initial of the official plan. I can't. Are you looking at? Mm -hmm. I think Frank's have renderings of the buildings. Maybe. Are these new renderings? Or yeah. Why do you draw that? I just want one. I can't. I can't really read it on the bottom of this one. So there's the two new buildings. This one got cut off. Oh, what are you looking for? It, right here. We can only go so big. What are you looking for? 
looking for, well, the, all he did was really, the map, the map itself, I think, is back in 90, was back in 93. John wanted a map date. Well, this, what, this is just scratched out. This, this is just put, these buildings are just put on the top. Where did you where did you see that? No, it's like off. Oh, I got it. You want to copy this? No, it's right down. Oh. Revisions. Two twenty four. Revision is 22405. Okay. And there was, do you, do you want the surveyors, Jack? You probably layer. say you're working off of a layer, a prior layer survey with such and such a date, but you're initialing it and dating it at with today's date to reflect the two additional okay, that's storage good. buildings at uh, 65 by 125. That's what I'm doing. And again, we said no lighting. No, no cold, cold, storage, cold, cold, cold storage. No electrical or um, sewer water. No, all of which are good. Board, anything else you need to know? <laughs> I'm sorry? Fran said you could keep the big one as long as oh, you can get it back. But if you don't, no, no, okay, you keep this. Because I think we're, we're good with what I just we'll marked up. <laughs> no, we're good with what I marked up. <laughs> this is a uh, uh, four six twenty one markup. Okay. We'll do that right there. We'll keep these. We'll keep these it's nice though. I mean, it's nice. We have a motion to to approve and. We'll include the seeker in that. So moved. A second. Okay. And any discussion concerning that? All those in favor? All right. right. Okay. You're good. Thank you get you, uh, you get a, you get a notice of action, and then the rest of your dealing is with the uh, code guys for the building. You right. Thank, Thank you. Guys. you. You're welcome. Have a good night. And that is that Bob Benson? Yeah. Did Bob did Bob sign this or did you guys sign it? Ultimately we gotta have the app. Ultimately the owner's gotta sign it. Oh you're part owner? Yes. Oh congratulations. Well Well you gotta sign the official one here. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see. This is I don't hold on to the official one. Well we'll take care of it okay. after before you walk out. Okay. How's that? Sorry. I just want to make sure we had our our, our T's dotted and our I's crossed. Huh. Got those T's. Cross my eyes.
Ms. Carbon and Mr. Sykes, got it? Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, Did you bring Mr. Sykes? Last month, uh, last month we were in for the same piece of property, and we were looking at uh, a uh, a salon of some type at, at that point, plus an, an office for uh, some internet sales of autos, right? Yep. And we kind of changed plans now. Yeah. The uh, salon business is out of it, and we're looking at the from the auto end, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay. What? Mr. Sykes, well, tell us, tell us what you, tell us what you have in mind here. So it's just uh, basically an office to sell out of with a display lot to park three to five pickup trucks at a time. Um, I buy and sell diesel pickup trucks from Florida, Texas. I have a full repair shop in Utica, so none of that would be going on there. This would just be a spot for sales. So it's sales by appointment, or how do people? Yeah, sales by appointment. There's a parking there for the vehicles. Yeah, one show three months, five. Oh, there's four or five right there. Four or five right there. Yeah, something doesn't look great. No, yeah, because he's got all the way down to the point here. Unless he's got to be like that. Where's our tax? Where's our tax man? Nevada, this is this is one eight twenty twenty. That's a recent survey. Yeah, that's I'm, it's strange that they wouldn't have that. Isn't that weird? Well, I mean, sir, well, there's a stamp survey. Right? This this could be even one of the lot surveys for the tax collection. Yeah, he's supposed to show the boundaries of the parcel. Yeah, that's, that's an odd thing to yeah, do is. that way, but. It's, 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 no, we. I think you're going to have to go ahead. We're going to have to clean that up. Oh yeah. I mean, because how far is this to go? You know, I mean, it's okay. it's, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Because I don't think there's any. You just. You did do one before. All right. What were you folks can get a little closer here if you want. We don't need to shout at you. Uh, what we're what we're looking at right now is we're just trying to reconcile, and our, we've obviously dealt with this property a number of times over the years. And what we're trying to reconcile here is where this survey, and then where the state where the state lands are, and. Yeah, but it's, you know, just tell them to stop back and have, have to work with Larry to fill out their point. This says 139, and that's this point. Now, on the tax map, it says it comes about I, I, just, I just noticed that the one that was set for you is your environmental. Oh, the What's that? Oh, yeah. So there's no like a name or no. anything that kind of stuff. Oh, because we don't know if this is 2020. You're looking at a year, year over a year ago. Yeah. 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 Well, you're, it's Maybe supposed to, but the, the whatever, to do it, okay. but whatever transpired the next meeting we want happened to within the last okay. year. Okay. That's not a bad I don't know that. Though. Yeah. Okay. I'm not aware. I'm, I mean, I'm not aware of it. Yeah. No, super so think, oh, you know, I'm, I'm sorry. Phone I'm just going to take yeah. this and mention it. I need to keep that one. Just, okay. the, the, the official yeah, file will be in the office. Okay. Okay. Call Larry. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. yeah absolutely. Yeah. Okay. But well, we just want to make sure it's all filled out. Because yeah. We're going to vote on a, on the environmental at some point here. Okay. Okay. Well, all right. Let's see if we can show you what we think we have. All right. Roughly 200 
we, I'm, we're thinking, see, this part is also this. Mm -hmm. This part is also this. part is also No, this. No, wait a minute. No, that's oh, okay. no, no, no. This is this. This is this. But this is on a tag snap. All right. Now, this is dated 1 8 2020. This should be current. Is this this year's issue? That's even before. What what does it reconcile? Is there's there is this lot. This point your your this truncates here someplace. Okay, it says that the line from here to here is 111 feet, where this one is 139 plus 72. So to that point. So 111 has got to be back in here somewhere. And this would be state land. It wouldn't be if whatever is accurate. We're not, we don't know at this point. That's, we're just saying that there's a discrepancy here in this lot. That this lot was somewhere along my pen line. That would be this lot. On the tax map. This is a survey. So I, did, I think you need to contact Myers here who did this. So who, wait, this is yeah. this whole corner you're saying? Mm -hmm. Let's take some. But you see the end. Not line. the whole corner. Oh. See the end's gone. Much of it. And what we know, what we, what we, what we, because we know of other things that you know, that the state somehow got control of this, bought it, bought it, took it, whatever, bought it. I would imagine, and that at some point, at some point, there was an idea that this is going to be cleaned up, so the Tuscarora comes in perpendicular to buy. Okay, mm -hmm. so. That means that your lot, you couldn't, you can't have cars out on state land. So you're trying to tell me that in front of this building is state land? No, no. Oh. We're trying to tell you that this right here, if and again, we're not the surveyors. Right. We're not. We're not the final answer here. We're just you saying. We just want to know where the line yeah, is. Yeah, we want to. Yeah, you know. You know, it's like Mason said to Dixon, we got to draw the line somewhere. <laughs> right. Okay. You show about 108 feet here. It's huh? fine. I love it. Yeah, and the, and the map shows 111. So yeah, see, this, this, this right here, this shows on this, this borderline, see, this borderline right here is 111. All right, if you look at this, now this survey, from here to here is 139 plus 72. Okay, do it in round figures, 140 and 70 is 210. I think. See this property line right here sitting right in the back of the building. He's got it this and that's what that's what you see there. Well, this angle, like that one does. This one. Oh, yeah. 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 Uh, well, I, I wasn't here last night, oh, so okay. I can't tell you. Oh, so all I can say is yeah. this is this this right here and this they don't they don't jive. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And that up there, that up there, that of course that comes off the head. That's how those properties that blue line got on there. The point is, is you got, we have to be careful because we could approve a lot of stuff here, but then if you establish the New York State DOT comes up there, you can't have any of that there. And then they make you move it all because they're going to say, well, or you're not going to have enough room. Yeah. And then, yeah how did they, like, like in the past? In the the 2016. Here's the other issue we don't know when any of this occurred. We don't know tiny. We don't know not anything. We know that this is a year ago, a year ago, January, which you would think would be pretty up to date. Now, 
Did the state what and then this man this map is dated. See, this is newer this is than that. Yeah. So is this, this is older. Well, Rick's got to take a look at that. So Rick's got to take a look. Somebody's got to take a look at that and see where your property line really is. Yeah. And that's then, then once you get to that point, once you figure that out, now you're going to have to do your this stuff. Yeah. And it's all this stuff that's going to have to be done to scale. Thanks, Bill. So you got to show where those exactly where the vehicles are going to end up being, so there's no confusion about it. You know, did they have the mark ingress and egress on the? the no, they got to do that. Got to know where you got to know where the. the and your septic, your septic is your septic is over here. Yeah. People that want to come and maybe purchase the trucks, they're going to have to know exactly where to turn in from the road to access. The, and I the guess lot. you had you had indicated before you were okay with the fact that you would not use the Route Five access. And I'd be very open with you. We cannot tell you not to do that. We can only ask you to do that, okay? okay? Because I got in trouble once. The state, I, okay. the state says you can't deny somebody. Do you want to get a letter from DOT saying they're okay with the access point that they're suggesting? I mean, I well, they would have nothing to do with it. No, 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 no. it they'd have nothing to do with it if it's on Tuscarora. No, no, I meant, but if they want, let's say they want to use Route 5, then we normally would like a letter from the DOT saying, if, totally if you okay pursued that, that, we'd rather you did. We'd rather, we'd rather your access be off Tuscarora. That's what we've it's done safe. the last two times. So it's it's, it's safe. much safer, yeah. Okay. I bought it right off. I, I bought it right Well, off. yeah, and the last folks did. I mean, you can yeah. block it. It gives you more room. It yeah. gives you more room I mean, to I can, organize. I can go across here. Sure. If, if it's allowed, you know. Yeah. But it's not whatever fun. whatever is going to work, but we got to have a good site plan, and you definitely, as Chancellor indicated here, you don't want to get because they're the eight hundred pound gorilla. They're the eight hundred pound weekend. I had a board it's approve the, a beautiful five thousand dollars sign, only to have the DOT guy show up. The board, not this board, different board, approved it. Somebody from state <laughs> he said, "Oh, you're in my right away." Tear the whole thing down, and they did. They came and tear it all. So that just make sure. You know where everything is, mm -hmm. and and you got plenty of room there to make sure it's going to work. You just got to yeah. check with Rick and make sure you understand. We have to understand. Here too, here you have parked cars. You have line of sight coming out of the gas station here, so they can see. Well, that's why I was there. telling them here, yeah. or if you did have them here, they'd be yeah. back. Sure. Right back sure. Yeah. So I'm, I'm just saying, we'll point, point that out. Is that, yeah. You know, I'm not going to pack a hundred cars. Oh well, no, no, no. We yeah. understand that. Yeah. But I'm just saying. That, you no, know, you're saying between three and five vehicles. Yeah, they want to sell, but then you got to give. You're, you'll be in the office probably. You got one for you. Yeah, or one for whoever's well, in there's, there's you know, like you, three you have your handicap your access yep. slot, yep. and then the, whatever number of uh, customers you might have, just whatever the most number of customers you might have one time, you have to have a parking spot for them to. So you got whatever you got five cars, five trucks plus you parked there plus a handicap access plus what two customers maybe. Figures ten spots total. Well, yeah, that'd be, I'm, that'd, I'm up that'd to that'd nine, be, so that would, that would yeah. probably one. Yeah, so ten, 10 should do it, right? Well, you're kind of like, you said you're not going to be there all the time. Yeah, right. yeah. Some, he'd be like by appointment only, basically. Yeah. Well, it's still like a parking spot. But, yeah, you, you're yeah. going to have to refine it. But well, I think uh, uh, what we're trying to do is to try to keep uh, going back and forth. Uh, right. Right. Yeah. So you yeah. understand yeah. Where, 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 where we're going from. We need an accurate survey. So you're telling so, me this is just not accurate. No, we don't know that. Okay. So it, all that we're saying to you at this point is there's a definite inconsistency between the tax map and can this Can I take map. a picture of this right now? Pardon? Can I just take a oh, picture sure. of that? Go ahead. Can yeah. could, could this be, I could be wrong, could this be more updated than this? Yeah, it's possible. Yeah. And then Rick can call um, call the office. Yeah, they could, they could, you could yeah, even have a hook that. Right. right. Okay. But our understanding is, our understanding was. Well, I, I see what you guys are. I see where you guys are coming from. And the state huh? gave us a hard time last time with the gas station, right? Did huh? they give us a hard? Did the state tell us because we were going to have some landscaping or something out in the front there at one time? Well, not this. The state said you can't do that. They gave us the heat on this one over here. Was it the other one? Yeah, it was the same. Didn't they tell the state told the guys with the tattoo on they had to close that driveway off? That's what I thought. Yeah. No, I think no. None of the state. The state. I think we, we asked them to do it and they did it. Because we were going to bury it with some landscaping or right. bollards or something yeah. in there, and the state said you can't do it. See, I, I mean, I can go back just historically. We've had a number of uses here, and there was one, and we asked them, we said, told them not to use this. 
Right. Well, the owner at that time uh, in, in, in your family, he, he contacted the state, and uh, I was wrongly uh, told you can't do that. You, can't you cannot deny access to the state highway. It's oh. not our judgment whether oh, it's a good it. traffic or anything else. Right. Okay. okay. If what you trying to just go south on that. All right. So, yeah. So, but what we're saying now yeah, for you guys yeah. to get an accurate site plan, we got to have make sure it's on your property. Okay. okay. So I would think you need to call call Rick and just tell him. And Rick certainly knows us. And okay. Call us, and we we'll, we'll go through it all. Okay. But I would have I would go one step further, and then once that's once that's kind of resolved, let him bring the, the, the south oh, okay. Okay. and he'll do it. He'll have all the dimensions. Okay. It'll be, it'll be good. It'll be, it'll be you know, okay. you'll be good to go. Right? Okay. Then okay. okay. Is there anything else? Well, how about signage? You said there's something on the building. There's a there's going to be a retail motor vehicle sign on the building. The green, you, need green that, you need that. You need that. You need that sale sign. Yeah. Okay, but there's no repairs or anything no. else, right? No. Off, off, everything is off site. Yeah. Okay, there's going to be a building. Is there going to be a building sign that you know the name of the business will be? Uh, you know. Uh, That's what he has on an application. Yeah, I was thinking just like a banner or something with the phone number, maybe. Something or something simple. firm. You technically, according to today's law, you you could have something affixed to the building. Okay. You know, or you could that window there that's. That, oh, could yeah. that could be read. That could be read. Yeah, I would probably. That could be repainted or you know do yeah. something of that. I would probably do vinyl sticker on the window then. Yeah, and, and you lighting. That. You know, like you have downcast lighting on it or something like that too. Yeah, there's some lights under there. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's just you can't you can't have anything that's going to broadcast out to the road. No, especially then. No lights. Yeah. Because no. that 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 intersection, we think we've had a couple of bad. It's a very simple lot. Oh, yeah, that's absolutely. what I'm trying to build. Absolutely. Very simple. All right. Okay. I don't know if that helps you or not, but okay. yeah, I think we we got we got to resolve. So basically, what? resolve that. There's nothing else he has to do before the next. No, you yeah, you got to fill up the. Well, yeah. you got to just fill in that short EAL, yeah, yeah, right. which okay. is the original here. You can stop back in or. I can do that. Yeah. But so come back with a come back next month. We're going to revise that piece of property. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, we're just everything gone. Yeah. Okay. But if you contact Rick, authorized to we will talk. Okay. You know, we can talk. That's a corporation question. Yeah, if it's an LLC, whoever's authorized to sign it. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, he'll okay. tell you. Yes. Do you have to have okay, a public hearing, Frank? Okay. I'm sorry. Public hearing. Oh, I said that's it then. If uh, okay. I would, I don't want to schedule a public hearing until we see what we have for you. Right. I mean, Port, you okay with that? All right. <clears throat> what this is special? Let's see. We'll see where that goes. There may be another public. There may be a public hearing. In so, May. Huh? In the beginning of May. Uh, no, they have to be the beginning of June. I don't think we need until we resolve this, and you get a satisfactory because you may come back and say something's not working here. Yeah. We don't know. So that. it could take two months. You say it could. What if this gets resolved like before? Okay, if we got if we got it resolved, we got a good map, but they'd have to have one in. The board would have to give me the right to schedule a hearing if you want to do that. If we, things were look like we could go ahead. But how would we be able to see it? Pardon? How are we gonna see it? It's here. Well, can we can get it. we could get copies out to you. Electronic copies? Yeah, we can get copies of that out if that comes to be. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's do that. So here, but the proper thing is you've got to. What are you saying, Rose? Fourth of May. Mm -hmm. Yep. Fourth of May. All right. You're looking at uh, today's the sixth. You'd have two weeks. We'd have to know by the twentieth of April whether we're gonna we got to make a decision on a go for here. Okay. Because we have to get it publicized. People have to be notified. Etc. Well, I can call Schmeier. That's right. How long does it take to figure that out? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Well, 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 he was here. He was here. He was here half an hour ago. <laughs> yeah. 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 He was standing right where we you were. We each other in a park. Right where you are. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. 
Yeah, just tell them. Hey, we're under the gun. We're under the gun here. We got to see if we can get this resolved. Okay. And he'll talk to us. Yeah, he'll be home tomorrow. And get some yep. Okay. 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 All righty. Okay. All right. Thank you. Yep. Okay. Thank you. Sure enough. All right. Uh, we have commitments. That's my opinion, right? What's that? When I built my storage building on 31, the DOT came in and told me how to put my driveway up. It's expensive. But if you're not dealing with Route 5, you're not dealing with Route 5. That's what I'm saying. Just stay away from that. You might have to talk to Andy, but that's, you're not talking any big deal here. I, now, Mark, we we all have commitments at 815, so maybe next month. Oh, I'm fucking killing me. I'm getting older. I'm 61 now. I don't know if I'll make it that long. Okay. Hey, just because you're young, don't use it against us. Okay. You want me to come up? Sure. <coughs> Mr. Fall, if he needs introductions. I didn't grow any hair last night. <laughs> I'm yeah. here. Okay. Um, I've been retired now 14 months on board. Oh, all right. Okay. So it's, uh, it's been a journey. I uh, try to keep myself busy and uh, get on the drive. I think I'm going to try to uh, build another building for some reason. I don't know why. Got room? Yeah, I do have room. I talked to Frank briefly and I talked to Larry and uh, under the fire codes and the extension of your business line. I thank you guys for doing that for me. It helped me out a lot. This would be the last, if I'm approved, this would probably be the last building. Okay. I said that before. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's right before you sell it to the Indian. Yeah, well, that ain't going to no. <laughs> <ain't> happen. Okay. <laughs> they did come looking. They did come looking. All right. So what I, what I have, Frank, is, is three really proposals. That's all going to come down to dollars and cents. One building is a 40 by 100 by 12. One building is a 40 by 120. What buildings are 40 by 140? The 140 is too expensive, I know that. Uh, with that being said, it's the property line, uh, Dave's mobile home there, Dennis Montreal's. I'd be 11 feet, two inches off his line. And I'd be 10 here and 10 here. Can we copy it? Yeah, yeah, sure. Copy that. I drew on it though. You drew, you drew I drew an idea. I'm no artist, but I did it real quick today. What I have on this one is 100 by 40. Yeah, I mean... Um, That's, that would be the biggest, right? Well, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking of going 20 extra feet due to the fact that I talked to the builder. The bigger you go, the square footage, the price goes down. Sure. And it's a game they play with you. And, you know, if I can save a few bucks and get extra 20 feet... But I'd be far off that business line, as you can see. Okay, can people look, can you see this map, my, the map I have? Yeah, yeah, you want to look at so you, I, I got a good idea from okay, seeing yeah, that other map. So it's this, it'd be the uh, east corner of Route 31. And, and in reality, it's going to be tucked in here. Mm -hmm. um, he's a good friend of mine, Dennis Montroy. Yeah. But it's not going to be connecting with the... No, no, it's going to... It's going to be a freestanding building. Um, for the fire coats, the maximum I could go with would be 40 feet, which I'm all right with. And then I so want to 10 go... Feet, 10 feet to the property line. i will be 11. Yes. I think 11 feet. It's 61, 61 feet and 2 inches. So if I go 10 off the building, that gives me 11 two to play with. So that is my choice land next door, which is... Uh, a trail of shed lot. Okay, so that, okay. Here, here would be the question: Can we get a fire truck by those? Yes. Can you get down in there? Yeah. What you could do is this here is thirty-seven two. This is twenty. This is fifty-six. You could. This is all. You could drive right around this building all day long. That's a good question. You could come down here. This is all stone. That's stone. Everything's stone. 
Back here is wet, the land. This is all grass. But this, you could drive around. The, we, we take motorhomes around the building because there's a, there's a back door into one of these buildings here. Do you need that? Well, the neighbor cleaned up grants, didn't he? Yeah, nice job. Yeah. Really nice job. Hard worker. So this is, this is where the building okay. would be. It would be a freestanding building. What's the distance? 10 feet? 10 feet here. I could even go farther. I could push yeah. it back to the business line. Mark, which one are you doing? Oh, these are options? Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> It's like buying a car. Yeah. I put. I was going to do something like this, and I threw it there. Let's scratch that out. Okay. okay. I was just sitting down with the builder. Right, I just want to make sure we know. Okay. So this, this is what we're hoping for. Yes. But, you've got no, but I think you've got. I think you're going to end up he, with this one. Okay. What you did is you. I would say the maximum by now. This one here. You've got one some various mechanisms. One building, and that's it. Yeah. And that just be. Right. It would have two. Two hundred. That's the one I got originally. That's what you did originally. That's the. That's the hundred by forty. And when well, you guys right. help me by yeah. right. that line there, right. yeah. So you got the next. So that was the God was one of them. He, he yeah. said he was going to do it. Yeah, you yeah. did. Yeah. Yeah. You did it for somebody else. I always said. What did I always say when I came here? I dealt with Cicero and you know Solomon. You guys have been so good. Cicero makes you jump through hoops. Yeah, I don't even know what he's doing. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay, so. Yep, just be a cold storage stone floor. That'd be two, motor two motor overhead doors. Okay, Larry, check all the all the fire code out for separation of buildings. Larry's talked to you about that, right? Yep. Yeah. And it's I called him first before it was even doable. Yep. And I was down. To, my mother fell in Florida. I went down to Siri, eighty-two years old, and Larry called me and said he filled out the thing for me. How's your water gonna drain off the top of that? Is it gonna hit? Is it gonna go into a gutter and then shoot There's a, No, uh, Dennis Montroy approached me 10 years ago and asked to put a culvert or whatever you wanna call it. What do you call it? Where you think the land? Right, Thank you, you put a swale in there. Where's the swale on that? Now? It's, it's- um, Point with your finger at where you think it is. It runs all along, it down runs down all along down here. And it, yeah. it, most of it's on my property. And I said, Dennis, go ahead and do it. He's a good guy. I got no problem with him. So it drains to well, it helps you. It ought to, it it helps him really, and it helps me. It ought to really show on a site plan. Okay. It drains to an existing swale and then that, that shoots down to the, go on to the... Or you got it, you probably got slope. You probably got... It just sits there. Without exactly. contours, you, you, you got to have a slope yeah. from 31 to 31 south. Excuse me? You got to have a slope from 31 south, don't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Clayton did all the excavation there. Clayton Wilson. <laughs> you know him? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Can I tell you a quick story? Yeah. I went in a restaurant. I was eating an Italian dinner. I could smell diesel fuel. This <laughs> is, I, no, I'm not lying to you. It was the spaghetti factory in Silver Beach. I said, what's that smell? And there he was with clean clothes and he still smelled of diesel. <laughs> <laughs> so I went back there and I said, Clayton, you smell of diesel remember, fuel. Remember you're being uh, oh, oh, yeah. Clayton's a friend of mine. He's a friend of mine. I love that guy. I do. I do anything. We don't. We don't. We we don't protect your feelings. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, that's being recorded. Not yet. That's, 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 that's a lot. No, but that we, we, he laughed. His girlfriend laughed. My girlfriend no, laughed. Yeah. All they could pitch was ten gallons, five gallon yeah. cans, and back to the And you were in the field to fuel up. Oh my God. We all know. We all know. Okay. So what do we? We gotta. We gotta hone in here. What? What? Plan are we really working on? I would say the maximum I'm going to go is 40 by 120. That's it. And it's going to give me 20 extra feet from the, what I originally said because they, they lowered the square footage price down. So that gives okay, me extra the 120, the 120 is going to be taking you to the south. Yeah. You're not going to move toward 31 anymore. No, no. You're, I just gonna, even, you're just going to tack this one on about a fifth longer. Yes, I could okay. even move farther south if, I, okay. if, you, if you guys need it to be. Well... It's not that we need, it, it's, it's, it's being sure that you could get, you could get a fire truck through there. I can't answer that question. There's plenty of Danny, what's your gut feeling there? I suppose you said you got trailers around there, right? You have 10 feet? Yeah. There's yeah, but you got this corner. 
That's that's the only thing I'm looking at. Yeah, I'm looking at that right corner here. from the from the one big from the real big one there. That ten feet, you gotta you gotta navigate that, right. and then you gotta navigate the other one. Mm -hmm. But it's only probably ten foot ten foot of distance. Are you really about for getting, uh, getting the building? Beg your pardon. Loading and unloading, or for fire access? I'd say fire access. I mean, loading. He's got his doors are going to be wide open. Do you know where the fire hydrant is? No. Sit right on the right next to my mailbox on the Bird Grants property. That saved me. That's another thing I didn't know about going into business. Sure. If I didn't have that fire hydrant, I'd be screwed. Okay. Insurance. That sits right across the street. I grants property. Well, that's that's fine. That's fine. I, I again, I'm just playing the devil's advocate. I don't have an answer. Well, when I, I when I built my other building, you guys maybe moved the buildings uh, twenty feet apart. If you move all... that down, if you move Slide that down, down yeah. I yeah. say. If you move that at down at least five feet, yeah, yeah, yeah. We move that to fifteen. That would be yeah. Where it move, says ten right there. Ten. Move it down. Fifteen. Yeah, I have no yeah. problem. Then you can turn the corner that, again. That would, be a, okay. that, that would be a better deal. Because you say you got forty-five feet to at least, here, so you got plenty of. To that, that no, way. I got even. Yes. I have over that eighty feet. feet. At least five more or more if you could. You know, yeah, Twenty more. feet. Twenty. 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 Get it right around there, nice and wide. All right. I I would say that's the only bottleneck. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I see what you're saying. You're right. So, 20. That length is 117. I got no problem with that. 20 feet from the building. Yeah. That building, that building will extend a little bit beyond your, the one, the, the big one. And that would give me a lot of room to move stuff around. Too. Yeah, I hear you. Right. It makes it a lot easier to maneuver. Yep. And it'll, look, it'll probably look a lot nicer. Yeah. yeah tough okay. one. Yeah, ten feet. Ten feet's not a lot for. No, that is real close. Yeah, being where that's located, it's not going to make so any the, difference. So the, the west of this building here, go ten and then go more towards Dennis Montrose. Yeah, you, okay. Well, yeah, no, you can't. You can't go really much more towards. I can go eleven. You can go. You can either go north or south. Right. right. And you can't go north because then yeah. you've got less than ten. Go you south. got to go south. south. You, you got you got no direction yeah. to go. Just just start. Twenty feet. Just, yeah. Move this down twenty yeah. feet. Yeah. Yeah. Keep it all in line. Ten. Okay. Move that. Yep. Twenty. Okay. So that ten. All right. He's showing everything else. We can do this, uh, Councilor Wayne, please. We're, we can we can do this just an amendment. To the existing, we've been constantly every time he's added something, he's come in, we've noted it as a special use permit and updated whatever. My only concern is county planning. Oh, okay. That's because that's not our right. law. That's no, no, law. okay. Yeah, you're right. That's the only thing. But okay. other, I mean, everything else is good, it looks pretty good. All right, so, well, do, what about hearing? You want a hearing? I don't see a need. Really see a need. Okay. No, I'm seeing no. Okay, no, that's good for you. Nope. All right, we can do seeker. We can do seeker. Yes, sir. Have have establish a establish a. Um, it's got to go to county because the county has a county has a right to right right receive you. They do not have a year. Okay. Okay. Didn't we do okay. a seeker? Come on, sir. You're going to be bookended by the. Yeah, now you got a new building. You want now. And then may hey, you know, theoretically, it's going to be a negative. Whatever the impact is of the new. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, so more you more have to ship the stuff so down to the county, and they say this or We this. take an action. If we didn't take any action, no. But we take, we're going to take an action, but we're not going to have a public hearing. So in other words, you'll come into the meeting, we'll have a county report, which they say refer to local determination. Mm -hmm. We can write them for them. Okay. See. But that, that's just the law. That's just the way it is. Right. And so you come back in, that'll give you time to revise revise the map. And that's what we'll call the final map. Locate this building with the dimensions that you just told us, with those, with the separations that we just, we just okay. discussed. Put that on there. That's the map. So my architect could do that. I mean, no, the, the land surveyor. He's a right. buddy of mine. Where, 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 did, where did you work here? Land, land lines. Have them do it. Okay. That's what you want. And then we'll feet. note that in your file. This is the latest and greatest of the Mark Mark Full project. Right. This will be the last time you ever see me. <laughs> well, I, I, I promise you. I promise you. Well, well you haven't given up on that. No, I <laughs> <laughs> no, I have. I have. The years are catching up to me. But uh, all right, so I would come back here May 4th. 
At what time? Okay. Yeah, yeah, it could be a break to the seven o'clock. You want be on early if you'll build this to be early. <laughs> you want this uh yeah, we we want building on it beforehand. Yeah. yeah. Or you get it done. Yeah, you get that done and get it into us the best. Let's just quickly do the secret. Okay, okay. here we go. This will save you another step, Mark. Thank you. Okay, uh, will the proposed action create a material conflict with Dr. Laney's plan or zoning reg? No. 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 The proposed action result in a change in the use or intent of the use of land to be small. No. The proposed action create the character quality of the existing community? No. 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 Critical environmental areas? No. no. The proposed action result in adverse change to existing level of traffic or affect infrastructure, mass transit, like your walkways? No. No. Will the proposed action cause an increase in use of energy and fail to incorporate reasonably available energy conservation and renewable energy opportunities? No. Proposed no. action impact public or private water, public or private wastewater? No. no. Will proposed action impair the character, quality, important historic, archaeological, aesthetic, or architectural resource? No. no. Will proposed action result in an average change of natural resources, wetlands, water bodies, groundwater, air quality, flora, fauna? No. Proposed action result in increased potential erosion, flooding, or drainage problems? That'd be small impact. Who's going to use that? The swale that's running alongside the, the uh, park. Yeah, get make yourself a note. Have your guy put that swale in. Okay. Finally, will the proposed action create a hazard to uh, environmental resources or human health? No. Okay, answer no to all of those. Check all the no boxes. So you're okay for it. So you've got to make a motion and a second for a negative declaration. Okay, make that, somebody make that include in there. Uh, well, no, because we're not going to have, and we're waving in public here. Okay. What I'll make the motion? Uh, oh, go ahead. I'm going to make the motion. Yeah, I'll make the motion to okay. approve. Okay. No, no, no. Negative declaration. Yeah. Negative deck and waive a hearing. Waive a hearing. Right. Okay, yeah. and it's got, cause it's got to go to county. As far as the county looking at this, what's okay. what's the ratio that okay. they say yes or no? It's, the, it, it, it's, it's basically 100 to nothing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. I need to lock in a date with the builder because uh, no, 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 no. You, you would be, you would definitely you would definitely have. I, I can see it. I mean, you never want to say never about so whatever, really but you, you've got a ninety nine point nine percent chance of getting, the getting is a go on the fourth. Okay. Thank you, friend. All right. Okay. okay. I, appreciate I can't it. see what would. Stuff about All right. Again, they don't. They have no yay or nay, yeah. other than to say. Good. You didn't do this or whatever. <coughs> Basically, what they're doing is they're saying you're following your law. Right. Yeah. Okay. I'm glad I'm, I'm glad I'm retired from that police job. I'll send you one. I look in the pad look every day in the paper. That's okay. Been out 14 months. I would never go back. Now, I'm ignorant. Did you, other than here, did, were you, were you on a force somewhere? I was here at the village of Chidango for 30. 34 years. I worked seven years of full time, the rest was part time, and I did 33 years at Federal Express. At FedEx, I did 33 years. Oh, okay. They, have, they keep calling me to come back. They're so, those guys are so busy. Oh, so, man. Because of, because of all the free money, COVID, and stuff like that. But I got my time and I got a pension out there. But when I was 35, I was doing 82 hours a week. I look back at that and I go, how did I do it? My mother says I'm crazy. So I was bored and a uh, buddy of mine works for Enterprise Car Sales. I, 25 applicants, they needed one driver. I go out through the Northeast and pick up all their high-end cars. They call me and they go, we got a Range Rover down in New York City, you wanna go get it? I leave at three in the morning. The hardest thing I have to do is put the plate on the car. That's, and I love it, 15 to 18 hours a week, I love it. But I'm not running like I was at FedEx, so I gotta watch out what I eat. Ah. <laughs> I, I, oh. That's catching up with you're not, you're not gonna get no Lamborghini. No, no. I get into right some cars I got rip, I feels like I gotta rip the front seat off the seat the back seat. So. Thank you guys. Fair enough. Yeah. That's it. You go to Massachusetts, you pick up all right. Did Phil did Phil John did Phil say something you got there's a yeah, there's a, 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 sub, a quasi subdivision down in the lake no. that the paperwork come in and they want us to sign. And I'm saying, I don't think we can sign. I don't. We didn't I, do I it. I don't know what it is. You want to? Hey, you want to do that? With, yep. We can do that with him. The rest yep. we can can't. We can close the meeting because I don't think. Uh, well, let, let let's hold. I want to hold these guys here for just a second. Are we still in the meeting? Yeah, we still are. We're, we're going to be still here going. for a couple minutes. Still oh, going. Okay, just let me know when you're done.
All right, that I just want to do part of this because if if Janet tells us we got to go another way, the, the, this board's got to be involved here. If uh, if it's not, then we can end the meeting. Okay. Okay, sit down there. I got to clean this. One. John, you talked to me about this several months ago. This is a paper road. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'll say that. So now, Judge Sturgill, uh, lawyer, Lawrence Berrigan. Oh, yeah, Mr. Brown. Brown, I know him, yeah. Um, This is this is a paper road right here. Okay. And we said they want to they bought this. Paper road meaning there ain't no established true road out there. Okay. It's only shown on a on a tax map and a and a proposed road. Uh, proposed. Yeah. So that means nothing is truly there. There's no real road frontage there. Right. Okay. So So this it all comes out where's first street on that map that we're looking at? Where's the truth? Yeah, that says that they says Bushnell Road, Shore Road. This, this says Bushnell, this says this First is, Street. But this is for that's the proposed road. That's the proposed oh, they're going to actually pave a road? No. no. That yes. I don't know what the hell we're talking. Yes. <laughs> that's that's what they call them down there. From they, okay. Ago. Okay. So, so the road it actually exists going to the left. The that's road, the road, the the first first road. Here. this that right there, mm -hmm. that this area, mm -hmm. this area right here is right here. Okay. Okay, and part of this is the town plows it off. Part of this is paid. Oh, the town plows that. Oh, okay. And part of this, part, my answer, well, sir. Okay. part of this, part of this is paid, but mm -hmm. part of this is, according to this stuff, is a paper road. Yeah, but it's but it's a, if it's really being plowed and maintained, then okay. then it's got an established road by 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 use it's by okay. operation of use. Right. It's a so, road. Here, the then that let's, let's cut so I can let these people go or yeah. whatever. Thirty. All right. One fifty. So when, if, it, if it were if it were deemed a non-public road, yeah. Mm -hmm. We, can, I'm not signing. I'm, we're not we're not signing a map for subdivision. Yeah. Okay. Right. Because we can't take action. Right. And we never entertained this. Has it ever gone through a, 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 a application for a subdivision? No. No. So does that would have to come to you. I would want a letter from Andy or something from Andy sure. saying that is a highway by yeah. use because the town yeah. exercises dominion and control and maintains okay. it. And there's different ways you can create public roads. There's one of them is a deed and dedication after it's been built and inspected. Another way is highway by use, which is the travel track of the of the land becomes the public highway. And if Andy's been you know, that down, Phil. plowing all that, I could talk to you more offline too, Phil, but but we can. Uh, we need to be certified. We need to certify from Andy that yes, this is as far as he's concerned. This is a town of Sullivan Road that's highway by use. Okay. If that's actually then, true. then then for us to do it, they would have that would have to be done. They would have to set a pub. We'd have to have a public hearing. Yeah, and like any other just subdivision. Just like any other yep. subdivision. Yep. But that you know they they the lawyer yeah. and yeah. the lawyer and uh, um, Forrest. Seem to think, you know, just sign this. Well, no, we can't. And what? How do they get to that point? I don't know. Why not do that with every single thing? They have? <laughs> I don't. I don't know. <laughs> what makes this one different than every other one? There must be another answer to that, well, right? I just think because we initially told them, yeah, the town's not involved. After speaking, remember? Right. Well, the town's not involved, but you can't file. You can't. You can't. Well, we were saying we, can't, we file couldn't file file sanction. They come in there. They're trying to clean up. Yeah, you can't sanction. We right. couldn't sanction that subdivision because we had no authority to, yeah. to sanction it. And since it, yeah. you said that now, that he's, since he's maintaining the road, if that becomes, then we can do that. Yeah, but but it, like you said, everything's got to go through this board the normal way. There's no version where where somebody has a piece of land and they whack it into four three lots, <laughs> but you see, we and then it gets them. filed in the county yeah, clerk's office. But you see, we told them. 
See, we sat down with them when they were going through why they had to do all this, this stuff, and we said, look it, if it's not, right. we can't make a subdivision right. on a non-public yeah. road. And Forrest knows that. We can't do this. But then they follow. We we didn't. We never pay attention to it. And all of a sudden, the paperwork comes <laughs> in, and they say, "Here, sign this." You know? Well, no, because we've never. This board has what's never this, taken action on this stuff in the back here. What's so happen there? Why don't we get this right here? I mean, down here. I see that there. Just looking at this for the first time, Frank. I just noticed you got a, you got a you got a, like a building out here floating out in the back here. here. Yeah. Yep. What's that about? A hundred years. Okay, but aren't you creating a, aren't you creating one of your uh, your patented um, accessory buildings with no, a primary I structure? It's already here anyway. Oh, you, but you're creating it now. Is this suggest? Is that already uh, exist? That's existing, right? Yes. It must be. Yes. So if this subdivision isn't here, you got a, you got a you got a primary home and you got an accessory building. Because if you race these lines, I don't, what is it right now? Show me which lot it is right here. Yeah. Sure. Which is this piece right here? Is yeah, it's in that. Yes, well, right? it's in that general area there. What's the, we're we're having a little hard time trying to understand what's got packed up. I think this isn't that this. This 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 here. If you do this, this is to. I think that's here's, that. Here's yeah. your first road. This, this is your. This there, one, there's first road. This is this is to the north. Okay. This is being. Wrong way here. I gotta go to the wrong Yeah, like you let orient that up there, Frank. Okay, okay. Yeah, here we go. What's going on? Here's First Street. That's here. But that's yeah. First Street. So that's, that's, be, that's gotta be to the north. This is to the north. Yeah. Okay. So this yeah. is to the yeah. south. Yeah. So okay. Flip that so there, so, that's, so there, this is that road right, right there. Yeah, that's that. Okay. Right in, right All right, good. Map. There you go. You know, it's not, they're not scaled up the same, but I'm guessing right. that yes. that is all or part of this. Yeah. Maybe it shoots in here. Who knows? Yeah. What I was saying was, with the weirdo thing that might end up happening is you're going to create yourself a, an oddball accessory structure. Who's, who does this belong to? This is yeah. See, that's on a separate, that's on a different uh, tax parcel. Can I see that? Where's that? See, this is, well, the, but that's not the scale. So I'm not no, really but see, sure. the dimension here is 101.27. Where's that This on is 101.27 yeah. as well. Okay. So that's on the so separate that tax parcel. So that is right on back here, that's what you're saying, Paul, right? Yeah, you're saying yeah. that's there already? Well, that's that's where this. So this is, is somewhere like, on that parcel right. there, yeah. and uh, we don't, there might even be a structure. But I, for some, I don't even know why he's showing that. Now. I mean, it could be. <laughs> why would he show that? Way. That's well, not part of this. I think where Mickey was going to end up with that. No, McGee was going to end up with that. It's one why of wouldn't he draw the line up? It's a bit. It's a bit. It's a bit odd. But I, I don't know why we're showing all these structures. Where's your roll? Yeah. All right, let's uh, let's go to procedure. Let's uh, let us contact. Uh, Andy's got to tell you. The yeah, best. well, I kind I knew what I was doing. I'd contact Seguin. I'd let Seguin. Uh, what right? Let Forrest do it and say you you contact uh, Andy and get a letter that says that uh, this is uh, got got services or whatever. Is there sewer so down here? Huh? Where's yeah. there sewer? Oh, yes, there is. No, there's not. No, no, no. No. Okay. Well, now are we gonna have? Are we gonna be okay with um, 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 septic for each of these brand new building lots we're creating? No, they'd have to be as built. Well. But what's that? What's? I kind of forgot. But I mean, if, if you're gonna sub, sub I, I think he's doing lot one, lot two, lot three. Yes. <laughs> See, this, this Although that's kind of not highlighted the same way. That one's lighter as a one. Why is that? I don't know. That should be as dark as that. If we're creating a brand new lot one, dot two, and lot three out of this. I think the Andy's, they got to come in. They got they need to clean all that crap up and then come in and explain it to us. And then we can set a public hearing and then uh, do it in uh, where we where are we going? June. What's this? So I mean, this thing's been like this since the actor was a boss. So they, another one to join. Oh, so he's going to he's gonna tag those together. So he would tag this with that. This goes with this. All right, then. Okay. Well, wait a minute, then. But he does that. Is there a house down there already? Yeah. Then are you going to have two singles? Are you going to have two houses on one lot? If you if you put lot three, you consolidate lot three. Here's lot three. Mm -hmm. if this says, per the town planning board, which I don't know, uh, uh, lot three must be consolidated with tax parcel 23. So you're going to put, a, you get a frame house that's existing. You're going to attach it to this in one deed. But now you're going to have two houses on one deed. This one, this one. Which I don't think your code provides no. for. 
This might have disappeared. Well, you gotta find that out now. One of them, Lot one of them, wasn't one yeah, of them one falling one down? I thought yeah, there was a house that was that taken down. Yeah. Something's so gone. You're gonna have to I, mean, now I would just say that they gotta that start from scratch. First, they gotta go out and look for the house. Lot 2 must be consolidated tax person 22. No, I don't think so. I just don't know what they did. I don't remember any of it. So we can do it informally. Lot 2 is consolidated with 22. If that's vacant, then that's okay. That should be okay. I think this one's okay. You got an encroachment right here coming off the back end of that building line. So this is going to be the line, and you've got a pavilion, but it looks like it's going to encroach onto whatever this parcel is. I just I would like to see what it really looks like right now and what it's going to look like after. And then what's happening with this? All right, are we are we, so Katie can wrap up here. Are we? Are we're not taking any action on these things. Rose, you're getting all this done in your minutes. Oh, I'm not. No, <laughs> I'll, that's okay. I'll I got it all on film. Good. This board is not taking any done, action. Right? We're not. We're, we're not setting any hearings. We're not doing it. Okay. Let's we'll close the meeting. Yeah. Somebody. Sherry moved. Jay Paul seconded. Meeting is adjourned.